Hey, we're here in Orlando, Florida, and these are my initial impressions of the Airstream Classic 33FB. All right, so starting with the front, um, we'll do a quick uh, tour of the outside. There's lots of specifications to go over, and you can see those in Airstream's video. Uh, they have an official channel where they go over their units and all their different um, floor plans, and they go over all the specs. So I won't go too detailed today, but um, on the outside, this is the container for two 40-pound propane tanks. This is mainly powered, this whole unit is mainly powered by electricity. However, there are, there's auxiliary power for some things and of course for cooking, uh, for grills and the indoor um, oven and the stove. That uses propane, so there are two 40-pound propane tanks inside here. This is a power jack. There's storage on here. These are um, adjustable shades um, with solar rock guards. So when you're towing down the road, these are gonna help to prevent damage to the aluminum itself, which is the Airstream structure, superstructure they call it. Um, these are rock guards as well. Um, so what's deployed right now, uh, as I have it, uh, during, normally during the day is the awning. So this is a power awning made by ZipD. The awning can go in different directions. It can go all the way down. It can go partial all the way. It can tilt forward and it can tilt back. Right now I have it tilted back because the sun tends to set in that direction. So it gives me a little bit more shade that it's tilted back that way um, during the end of the day. And also if there's a little bit of rain, um, it kind of just slides right off of it. So this is my workout area that I'm in much of the day. I currently work as an online personal trainer and a fitness consultant. So I used to work in gyms and things like that. And a couple of years ago, I took uh, the business uh, exclusively online. Keep it real simple with adjustable dumbbells, things like that. But much of the time, this is just my space to kind of, uh, kind of decompress, get a good workout, take a break from work, come outside and enjoy some sunshine. Something I really like um, that came with the classic are these two chairs, these two Airstream chairs. The style matches the awning up above and of course the silver, the aluminum. Um, and they're really well-made chairs. They're very comfortable. They're made by ZipD. So this is where I, at the end of the day, kind of take a moment of peace and look out into nature and uh, find, a, find a nice moment at the end of the day. The reason that I'm out here really is because being connected to nature has always been very special to me. So being in this thing um, really allows me to have that connection just by stepping outside. And as you can see, when we go inside, um, there's a lot of light that comes in and it does feel very open. So I'm always feeling kind of connected to the outdoors, especially when I'm out here. So I get to have that moment of peace when I'm out in these chairs. <laughs> All right, so we're on the inside of the Airstream Classic. And uh, one of the things that I really like was a nice touch was uh, they put coat hangers here. The last Airstream I was in, they had key rings, which were really cool. You could put your keys in as you enter the, the place. As you walk in, there's a full-size fridge. This fridge works off of 12 volt power, only electricity. Uh, a lot of fridges in RVs and Airstreams, they work off of um, electricity and propane. This one's just electricity. It's 12 volts, so it can work when you're plugged into shore power um, or when you're just uh, running off the battery. There is a lithium battery in the front of this trailer, which can be turned on um, and um, used for other stuff with through an inverter. Uh, but I believe this is hooked up to that uh, um, without using the inverter if I'm traveling. So I love the fridge. Spend a lot of time there. I like to eat. And uh, we'll go into the, the bedroom now. After you walk in through the front door, to the right is the bedroom. This bed is a queen size bed. And what's unique about it is um, you can change the angle. Like you can push a button and right now it's in the up position. So if you're reading or just want to sit upright, if you're watching TV, there's a TV here in the corner. You can do that. Or if you want to push this button, Everything slides down, becomes flat, and takes a few seconds. But once you're there, ready to sleep. And um, you can even turn off the lights from 
above here, um, you can change the bed like you saw at the um, kind of little side table there. There's also another button on the wall to do that as well. So it's nice that there's um, a button for the bed on the side as well as on the wall of there because if you're trying to walk by, it's a little bit harder to squeeze through when the bed is down. So having that up when you're ready to walk out into the other room is a lot easier. There's storage up here. These hinges are made uh, specifically for the Classic. And they're very nice. Everything is a very easy touch to open. And when you close, it's nice and quiet. So that's pretty much it for the bedroom. Um, like I said, there is a TV in the corner. These are Roman shades that you just unbutton these and you can pull it across and then just kind of, um, it kind of tucks in and you can strap it in there for the window to be open. And these Poseidon shades kind of just go up and down like this to get some extra light in here. And there is a fan above as well, what's called a fantastic fan. So let's head into the main area again and we'll go over the kitchen, dining area, desk, couch area. Let's see all that stuff. So now we're in the dining area and the kitchen area. Like I said earlier, there's a lot to go over in here. There's a lot of details we could get into and I probably will make another video of more specifics of what is here and how stuff works, but I'll give you a quick overview on kind of the general seating area and how everything is laid out. So um, this is a Corian material um, that you'll see throughout all of this um, on this table here. What's cool about this table is you can work on it if you like. You can get on it, obviously, um, or if you want to sleep on it, you could take stuff. I have stuff under here, but I would take it out, and if you look at the table, you can bring it down. It moves down all the way, and I won't bring it down all the way because there's stuff under there, like I said, but if you bring it down all the way, there are cushions under the bed that you can put on top of that, and that turns into another bed. Was I supposed to sleep on that? I mean, you can sleep where you like. So this is the kitchen area right across from the dining table. Um, one thing that I really like that I actually don't even use yet um, in the classic for this year, 2022, is the wine and spice rack. You can put um, wine bottles in here. They kind of go at an angle and they sit there. I just have like basic stuff in there right now, spices and stuff. So this is the stove area. It has a three burner cook stove and like a backsplash thing right behind it. What you would do is you just take these, turn it a little bit, turn it on, push it in, turn on the igniter, and then you can go from low to high with the propane. So the propane uh, fuel uh, works through the oven as well. So the storage everywhere in the kitchen as well. I have other appliances that aren't set up right now inside here. Um, the pantry slides out here. More pantry kind of stuff above, and there's more storage here, glasses, cups, plates, bowls, things like that. Under here is a trash can, and there's drawers that pull out for larger utensils and smaller utensils, forks, knives, things like that. All right, so now we're in the area where it's my favorite part, and it's the reason that I wanted this Airstream was because it has a desk built in. Now, I know Airstream just started making uh, the Flying Cloud with a desk version of it, and I think they have a few now. They have at least a little bit of uh, small desks inside them. Um, but at the time, this is what was available to order, and I really needed a desk. I work full-time from home. Um, like I said, I work um, online in fitness as an online personal trainer, fitness consultant, things like that. So I'm on the computer all the time, and I was hunched over and uh, trying to squeeze myself into... Uh, the dining area in my last Airstream to try to work and make it into a desk and that was getting kind of uh, Uncomfortable after a while. So I said I really want a desk So this is the reason I got the unit is this desk here. Um, I have my computer set up cameras um, Just different stuff that I use when I work um, I also love music. I like to play guitar. So I have my guitar amp below here I have the guitar right next to it and behind it is just extra storage for like, I put cables and um, the electronic pieces that I'm not using at the time. And you can put files and um, you know, I have papers and stuff in there as well. 
And up top are some camera stuff in here that I use. There are some other entertainment stuff that I use. Of course, I have a Nintendo Switch because it's the best <laughs> best gaming system ever. Um, I don't know. I don't play it that much anymore, but I really like it. And um, across from the desk is the couch. Um, what's unique about this couch is what I'll show you in a moment is how it looks at the projector. So this desk area turns into a movie or TV viewing area that you'll get to see. Um, so this is where you sit when you use that. But what's cool about these uh, this couch is um, the foot part comes out. Now these pillows, I have these on here because it came with the unit. In fact, all the pillows in here and the bedding and everything comes with the classic and it looks really nice. It matches the um, interior color, which is called Comfort White. So they gave the pillows uh, to go along with it. But if you are sitting down, and we'll see in a sec how we can use the projector to watch over that way. But if you want to kind of relax a little bit, put your feet up. We've got a button right here and it's kind of a nice comfy seating area. So what's unique uh, about this couch and desk area is it turns into a TV or movie viewing area. So this is a projector. If you're seated here, what you can do is you can take this remote and press this button and down comes the projector screen. Hopefully my stuff isn't in the way, and yes, it went right over it. So, this turns on. You can hook up different things to it. I have an Apple TV hooked up to it right now, and I'm not going to play anything just so, you know, if this goes on YouTube, it's not going to do copyright on any music or something like that. But, projector screen goes right there, um, and you can play, like I said, the Apple TV. Um, there's a DVD player here. And you can also plug in some different stuff um, to view through that as well. So, when you're done, click it back up, rolls all the way up, and then you can use it as the office area again. I really like the um, chair that comes with the desk area. It even has storage underneath where you can put stuff in there. And it's a sturdy chair. I saw the chair um, in other videos thinking it was just going to be kind of small and flimsy, but it's a really nice chair and it fits the style of everything else. Everything else, everything is very well built in here, very sturdy, and it's, it's got this heavy feel to it. It feels very comfortable too when you're sitting there working. So really love this area. I'm, I like to be in here a lot. <laughs> Alright, so we're in the bathroom, but unfortunately we just realized that it's hard to shoot in here because we need a wider lens. Um, it actually is a big bathroom, especially compared to other Airstreams or RVs, really. It's a big bathroom for any travel trailer. Um, so we're not going to do a detailed walkthrough quite yet. We'll probably do that another time when we can get a better lens and show the whole thing. But basically what's in here is there is a large closet when you walk into the right. Uh, what's unique about this closet is um, it has a cedar lining on the back, so it makes your clothes smell nice and fresh. And it's got a lot of space. There's other drawers underneath it as well. This sink is larger than what I'm used to in my last year's stream. It's a really nice sink. And there's storage underneath. There is a medicine cabinet behind that. I don't know if that just showed you, but that's okay. I don't think I didn't see <laughs> okay. it. There's storage above. I'll blur myself out. Um, the shower is right here in front of me, and there is a macerator toilet here. I can't see it. Sorry you can't see it. Um, we'll film it another day. basically in here. It's a really nice bathroom. I'm really excited to show you what it looks like when we can film it right, once we have the right equipment and the right lens to see it, because it really is worth seeing. <laughs> Thanks again for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see more, and I hope to see you soon.